force is overrun. Loss of life is extensive. Hold. We are receiving a transmission. Praise the gods. Artemis, you live. Matriarch Vorazun, what has happened here? Shakuras has fallen. The warp gate linking this world to Ayr has been reopened. Countless hybrid and Zerg pour from the other side. They've obliterated our cities, decimated our Shadow Guard. We are trying to evacuate the remaining population, but I am uncertain whether we can hold long enough to get them safely away. We will give you the time you need, Matriarch. My Templar are inbound. Hierarch, before our armies engage the enemy, it would be wise to review our military capabilities within the War Council. My Dark Templar were tracking your invasion on Io when we were cut off. Then the Warp Gate opened. What happened, Artanis? Amon used the Kala to seize control of the Templar. I could feel his rage tearing through me, and I was powerless against it. Zeratul found me. It was there that he... He... Yes? He tried to free me. And he succeeded at the cost of his own life. He fell by my hand. It was Amon's deed, not yours. Zeratul came to me with a warning, but I did not act. Because of this, he is now gone, and the stars burn dimmer for his loss. Amon's deed or not, I carry a burden, Matriarch. One that cannot be easily lifted. Karax, even without the Kala's light, I can sense your sadness. Your pain. Does the Spear of a Doom bring you no joy? That is just it, Hierarch. Without the Kala, it is as if I am blind. I cannot sense your feelings. Know the true depth of your thoughts. I cannot call upon the surety of other face smiths. I am... alone. I feel the isolation as well, as though thrashing within the vacuum of space. But you are not alone, brother. To think, the Dark Templar have endured this existence all this time. The days ahead will not be easy. We may not have the Kala to rely on, Karax, but we still stand as one. We will endure. There is no other option. A preserver? Released from stasis? She still bears her nerve cords. She is tethered to the caller. Hold. I am Rohana, Grand Preserver of the Valari, and your War Council Advisor. You must be the Executor in Command. You are not possessed by the Dark One. How is this possible? I feel darkness lingering at the edges of my every thought, but I am not corrupted. Preservers of my station have trained to control the Kala's every ripple. I assure you, I will stave off this evil and serve you better by doing so. As all Preservers, I hold the memories and personalities of Protoss prior to my submission to Stasis. This will allow me to contrast your tactical decisions with those of past Executors. From this chamber, you will be able to make all military allocations. I am Artanis, Hierarch of the Daylon. I lead all that is left of our civilization. Your memories are indeed of use, Rohana. But make no mistake, if you fall to this corruption, I will not hesitate to destroy you. It is understood. I am prepared for the Firstborn's darkest hour. Come, let me show you what may be done here. The assembly panel awaits, Hierarch. We may begin whenever you are ready. I have heard only tales of the Grand Preservers. 
I did not expect to encounter one aboard this vessel. That is not surprising, Hierarch. My sisters and I are unique. Trained from birth to master every intricacy of the Kala. I have experienced its true depth. Plunged the infinite spectrum of emotion and memory. It is because of this gift we were selected to enter stasis. So that we may guide you in our most dire hour. Your sisters were aboard the other Ark ships? Then they... Are one with the Kala. Fallen during the Zerg invasion of Ayr. I know this. I feel the tragedy that has befallen us. More deeply than you may realize. A terrible burden has been laid upon you, Rohana. Yet it is my fate to bear it. A fate foreseen by the same minds that constructed this vessel. I trust in their wisdom, Hierarch. I will serve my purpose, much as you must serve yours. The assembly panel allows you to customize your army based on the Protoss technology we encounter. Now you may choose one of the two factions for use in upcoming battles. These assignments are not permanent and can be altered as our combat needs change. Many battles await you, Hierarch. Choose a faction and lead them to glory. We are the Blades of Iron. The Shadow Guard waits. It is so empty without the Kala. The voices of my people, lost in darkness. The Zerg infestation is overtaking Talametros. Our evacuation is already in great peril. Your raid cannot come soon enough, Hierarch. Shakuras teams with Amon Zerg broods. We hold only the southwest quadrant of Talametros, and even that is in peril. We must evacuate our people, but the launch bays have been defiled with infestation. Only ground forces can clear them. Once the bays are free, the planetary warp conduit will allow our ships to escape safely. The launch bays will be cleared. Your people will survive, Matriarch. This I swear. You may need the aid of my Dark Templar in this battle. They can strike from the shadows without fear of reprisal. What would you ask of us? I will comply. Avoid Rasher. By the gods, it's sieging the warp conduit. Carex, our 
any of the Spear of Adun's weapon systems ready for use. Orbital strike is online. Designating targets. has been weakened. Warriors, move in and seal its fate. Orbital strikes can now be fired from the Spear of Adun's command panel, Iowa. Bays remain infested. Clever. These vaults hold the city's last energy reserves. Claiming them should aid you when you fight ahead. Indeed. Completing bonus objectives will allow me to improve the Spear of Badoon's power. There are two vaults left in the city. I am but a phantom. I am in trouble. I have returned. Additional pylons. This will provide us with supply we can use to train new warriors. Tolidos. Fear is an illusion. The Zerg have extensively fortified this area. An orbital strike would help us break through their defenses. Clever.
Patriarch Vorazum. The first launch bay has been cleared. Continue evacuating. Two moments to clear the launch base. Second launch bay. Well done. Half of the bays are launching evacuation ships. Receiving. Give us your command. What would you ask of us? Nasperu Nadar. Clever. Ever. Vigilant. Jakku. The darkness rides. Khatoum.
sights. Nothing. Nuke time. You must construct additional pylons. Last Solarite reserve now. The solar core should be augmented by the time our forces return, Hierarch. You seek our service. Not the darkness rides. I am the blade of the Nazi. I have returned. I am. the infestation. Only one launch bay remains disabled. Got two. I am needed. Jakul Enoch. Make use of me. Noktai. Thank you. 
have been reclaimed. Matriarch, you may complete the evacuation. You have saved my people, Artanis, and they will never forget it. Shakuras. It is too late for that. Amon Zerg poured through the warp gate as a tide of flesh and blade. They have already overrun Telemetros and are nearing the shrines of Lazul. This world is lost. With such an infestation, Shakuras must be destroyed. Destroy Shakuras? I will not permit this. Permit? Shakuras was my people's home long before we offered your sanctuary upon it. I will not let this world be a den for Amon's forces. Worlds may fall to ash. What matters is that we endure. To lose Shakuras and Ayr. We are a vagabond people, Artanis. Our true home has always been Ayr. Let us reclaim it together. 
It is fitting that the daughter of Raja Gaul decides the fate of the world she helped forge. Let us make preparations at once. The Solar Core requires your attention, Hierarch. Please visit it at your earliest convenience.